So this is going to be a review between two of the top wireless mice probably ever and of right now. These are both top five mice right now, but I'm going to give you a warning before you start this, before you start watching this video. If you have under 18 centimeter hands, do not look at these mice. I know it's tempting, but they will not fit your hands and you just, you trust me, it, it's not going to work. It, it won't work. Uh, you're not going to get your full aiming potential. You're not going to play well. Look at mice like the Viper Mini, the G-Wolf's Hottie S that's coming out. Uh, the MM710, those mice, if you have under 18 centimeter hands, these mice are for over 18 centimeter hands. And they are very different mice, and I'm going to get into a sound test now. Because I know nobody wants to listen to me ramble on. But I'm going to do the sound test, and I'm going to talk about the pros and cons, and who this mouse is for, what games they should be for, see the issues I have, and all that. So, here's the G Pro Wireless right and left click. They were updated in 2020, uh, just a f I think a month or so ago. I've only had this mouse for seven days. Um, so if you get a G Pro, if you go and buy a G Pro Wireless Pixel or a G Pro Wireless Ghost, you will not get the updated clicks. The updated clicks are crispy. They make them crispier. They make the clicks crispier. I'm sorry, and they are more, they are louder, and not as mushy. Razer Viper Ultimate clicks. It, it's personal preference what you think sounds better, but the G Pro Wireless does feel better. I can say that first handedly. Um, but the performance are technically better on the Razer Viper Ultimate. Um, the G Pro Wireless side buttons. Razer Viper Ultimate side buttons. G Pro Wireless scroll wheel. Razer Viper Ultimate Scroll Wheel. Um, now, I'm going to talk about a few of the issues and a f uh, who wins for all of these. Clicks, cheaper wireless, side buttons, Razer Viper Ultimate easily if you can get used to them. They are very, you see like in the mouse kind of. You can see from there, they're very close up to the mouse. Cheaper wireless, they're obviously very, they protrude very far. But the G Pro wireless side buttons are very mushy. They don't feel good. Um, but you can replace them if you're left-handed. So if you are left-handed, you can get either of these mice. Uh, but you can take out the side buttons and put covers instead of the side buttons. You can take these out too. Literally, they come in and they easily go back in but because they're kind of like magnetic and they're replaceable they are very mushy very very mushy uh they don't feel well so the razor viper ultimate wins there scroll wheel geo pro wireless easily i hate the razor viper scroll wheel on my copy my scroll wheel is very mushy on the my razor viper ultimate and it's just like just terrible uh, it doesn't feel nice. It actually hurts my finger. Like it tears the skin off my finger. G Pro Wireless Scroll Wheel is subtle. It's soft. Uh, it's really nice. The click is really quiet too. But um, yeah. The feet on the G Pro Wireless are garbage. If you do get the G Pro Wireless, you need to replace the feet. I'll give you this terrible sound test of how scratchy the feet are. They're so scratchy. It's making my teal mouse pad, this is a mouse pad, white. This is the Razor Viper Ultimate. Hear how smooth that is? Like, that's unacceptable. That's actually unacceptable. Um, for a mouse of $150, it's unacceptable. The Razor Viper Ultimate easily wins. Now, the sensor. You can uh, wins on the Razer Viper Ultimate easily. Um, it's pretty obvious that the 5G optical sensor. But um, one of the things the Razer Viper Ultimate has is you can calibrate your mouse. 
So what that means is uh, you can calibrate your mouse with the mouse pad. So that means you can change the liftoff distance according to your mouse pad. It will automatically calibrate it and it will choose the best liftoff distance and all that for your mouse. Uh, and there's no tracking issues on any mouse pad. You can use this on an artisan mouse pad, any hard pad you want. G Pro Wireless, you can't calibrate to a mouse pad. And um, if you have an artisan mouse pad and some hard pads, your G Pro Wireless will spin out. Uh, and they're ba it's basically unusable. And if you press your hand right here, sometimes on a G Pro Wireless, on the sensor, and nobody, you never will, but if you do, it starts randomly clicking your mouse buttons for some reason. It only does it sometimes to me. I don't know why, but um, yeah. Rattle test, no rattle on the G Pro Wireless. One of the main issues I've had with the Razer Vibro Ultimate is a ton of rattle. It's coming from the scroll wheel, which you can actually move around in. Uh, so. Yeah, there's no movement on the side on either clicks. Actually, a little bit on the right click of the Razer Viper Ultimate, but not a lot. No, uh, a little bit of pre-travel on the Razer Viper Ultimate, and a little bit of post-travel, but nothing noticeable. Same with the G Pro Wireless, a little bit of post-travel, but no pre-travel. Not noticeable. Don't even worry about it. Um, now, who this mouse is meant for. So this is interesting because the uh, G Pro Wireless is, I'm going to talk about the shape first, is a very straight mouse. Uh, it is the same exact length all the way through the mouse. It looks like it protrudes back a little bit, but that's just the camera. It does not. It's the exact same length all through the mouse. Razer Viper Ultimate, skinny in the middle, protrudes a lot in the back and a lot in the front. Um weight also 74 grams and i don't know why they say this mouse is 80 grams with this power puck in it's 85 grams actually and if you take it out it's 78 grams so i know big difference um but that's just my copy that's the updated copy so as i was saying the Razer Viper Ultimate has has made no hump, literally no hump. It's very, uh, very, what's the word? Not not tall mouse at all. There's no hump. G Pro Wireless. It's a very tall, tall mouse. Right. Uh, and it's kind of, kind of like a chode. It's very, you know, small but thick um razor viper ultimate is very skinny very long uh, but it's not thick it's very short so the g pro wireless actually really hurt my hand when i was testing it because uh the way it just doesn't curve in the back my hand was sitting on like this edge right here and it just wasn't comfortable with the razor viper ultimate you kind of have like a platform right here where your hand sits on it, it's really comfortable. Um, but G Pro, uh, Razer Viper Ultimate is way longer, uh, a lot longer, a lot shorter. But um, the G, uh, Razer Viper Ultimate feels a lot f uh, lighter for some reason. Even if you take this out and you take both, side, both pairs of side buttons out, which makes this mouse about 75 grams, so only a gram heavier, or, uh, heavier it feels way still way heavier than the Razer Viper Ultimate. I don't know if it's because it's just a very, you know, tall mouse and it fills your hand up more, but it just feels a lot heavier. And I've noticed um, this mouse, if you play a game like Fortnite, okay, this is where it comes down to. Well, let me talk about grips first. As I said in the beginning, if you palm grip, just get the G Pro Wireless. Don't even look at the Razer Viper Ultimate. If you claw grip, both of these mice are going to be fine, but I'd really look at like an XM1 or Zowie S2, um, any of those mice. Fingertip grip, G, uh, Razor Viper Ultimate. And if and obviously if you have 18 centimeter hands or over, if you don't have 18 centimeter hands, don't even look at either of them. But this might, if you have over 18 centimeter hands or 18 centimeter hands, 
this might be the best fingertip grip mouse of all time. Uh, it's very comfortable in fingertip grip. I have a claw fingertip hybrid, or some would say a relaxed claw. Uh, it's just so comfy, so comfortable for that grip. Palm grip, this could potentially be the best er, uh, ambidextrous palm grip mouse out there. It's a very comfortable palm grip mouse. It's, it was meant for palm grip. Um, neither of these mice are amazing for claw grip. I'd really look somewhere else. But um, if you're really set on these mice, uh, you, you either of these would be fine. This is a palm claw mouse. This is a fingertip claw mouse. Um, so if you if it if you claw grip, it comes down to what games you play, or probably either of them. If you play a oh also, I know I'm backtracking a little bit. Curve. You know how G Pro Wireless doesn't curve. This is a very normal thing with Logitech mice. So if you have um, a G305, G903, any of those mice, this mouse will feel natural to you. It will feel very natural. If you come from st any other mouse brand in the world, Steel Series, uh, besides Logitech, Steel Series, Razer, uh, Rocket, Extrafy, G Wolves, uh, Glorious, any of those companies, Final Mouse, this mouse will be easier for you to get used to and it will feel more natural. Just saying, guys. Excuse me, just letting you guys know. This is like an egg or a potato. Literally grab a potato and try and aim with it. Um, but as I was saying, G Pro Wireless, you will have a higher aiming ceiling. So that means in the long run, you could potentially uh, aim a lot stronger, better. But the speed uh, that you will be, you will be capped at a certain speed of being able to play. What I mean by that is flicking flicks. You're going to have to play at a higher sensitivity with a G Pro Wireless, and you're going to feel slu more sluggish. Like, if somebody that's played with a very lightweight mouse and then goes and plays with a G502, they know what I mean. Uh, you can just move faster with the Razer Viper Ultimate than you can with a G Pro Wireless. And it's how it's built. That's the point of it. It's supposed to be a fast-paced game. It's, you know, the Razer Viper Ultimate, you aren't going to have the... I'm, I'm just going to say, you are not going to have the best aim in the world if you get a Razer Viper Ultimate. Uh, you will be capped at a certain aim potential just because of the way the mouse was built. Because it's meant for fast-paced games like Fortnite, Call of Duty, Overwatch, Paladin. You know, games that are fast-paced like that. G Pro Wireless is more of a uh, CSGO mouse, Valorant, where it's really aim-dependent. Uh, Krunker, if you play Krunker, uh, it's a Kovac mouse. You know, games like that. I don't care what anybody says. These side buttons are garbage for Fortnite or any building or anything like that. But for an ability in in in, in Valorant, they're perfectly fine. You know, um, the Razer Viper Ultimate is just a really fast-paced mouse. It, that's just the point of it. G Pro Wireless is an aiming mouse. If you're an aimer, get the G Pro Wireless. Or if you want to be an aimer, if you want to be a fast-paced you know, a creative warrior in Fortnite get the G Pro, uh, get the Razer Viper Ultimate. That's just how what it's going to come down to. You know, it's meant for games that are easy to aim with, like Fortnite. It's a very, it's probably the easiest game to aim in. Uh, Call of Duty is very easy to aim in. Um, Overwatch very easy to aim in. It almost does it for you. You know, games like that. Uh, so, this is all personal preference in the end. Um, the last thing I'm going to go over is the coating of each mouse. The G Pro Wireless is meant for uh, cold climates. It feels identical to an ABS keycap. Um, the Razer Viper Ultimate is meant for warmer climates. And it feels identical to a PBT keycap. Uh, the, if, you ha if your hands sweat like crazy... Get the G Pro. Uh, the the Razer Viper Ultimate will be better in your hands, but if you have extremely ashy hands, the G Pro Wireless will feel nice in your hands. Um, in the Razer Viper Ultimate, you might be a little bit of a slipping slide. But um, I'm good. This is basically the end of this video. Follow my Twitch at Your Cloudy FN and my Twitter at Your Cloudy Two. I'm gonna be doing more of these reviews. Um. 
you know, I have a lot of mice I can review, I have a lot of keywords I can review, you know, all that. So, um, that's basically the end of this video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.